In today's class, we're going to be creating marketing for one of the colleges participating in the March Madness basketball tournament. So here we have an example, and we've got an image of myself. We've got the name of the school with a layer style, specifically stroke. We've got the logo. We've also got some key information with a backdrop um, created using the rectangular marquee and dropped opacity. So what we're going to be doing in this class is creating something a little similar to this. Here we have another example of Indiana University. We've got Stanford, UCLA, and Michigan, which I know that some of you guys are fans of. How exactly uh, do we approach this project? Uh, well, the first thing that you're going to want to do is take a look at your bracket and maybe find a school that you're not super familiar with. For example, if um, you click this little I uh, next to the two teams, what I know is that it gives us a lot of uh, the matchup analysis, but also it identifies a school. In this case, it's Bakersfield versus Oklahoma. So if you Google Bakersfield, you can find out lots of really cool things about this institution, and maybe it's where you'll end up in a year or two years from now. Uh, I've heard some pretty good things about it, and I'm very confident that if this is your school or the University of Michigan, you're going to do a great job. So you're going to search. You're going to do a Google image search, and when you click on search tools, we're going to make sure the size for today's class is going to be large. We're looking for high-res images. Um, and if we scroll around a little bit, we're going to look for something that has a nice backdrop. And um, this looks pretty cool. So let's say hypothetically that this is the image that you want. And that's actually super big. I'll select this one here. This one looks cool. I'm going to click View Image. And hope. And there we go. Great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that blank that we just uh, downloaded. And we're going to open it in Photoshop. And here we go. And what we're going to do now is actually... Actually, here's another example of marketing. We're going to be creating lots of marketing, including for our own school. But if we uh, simply right-click and then select Copy Image, we're going to go to Photoshop. Here's the blank that everyone's working with. We're going to do Command-V to paste. And there we've got this pretty cool image of the University, University of Michigan. I'm going to press Command-T. And you know what? I can't really see the edge of the right, lower right-hand corner. So I'm going to drag the lower left hand, holding Shift. And um, that's a pretty cool visual right there. Great. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to get those blanks that you guys, or I'm sorry, those uh, PNG portraits that we did in class. So you're going to download it. You're going to use the move tool and simply drag it in. And here we've got Anika. And I'm going to press Command T. And I'm going to shrink her down just a little bit uh, like that. And we're going to have her sort of off the edge of the, the page a little bit. So what else do we need? Well, we're going to need to include some specific text about the school. Um, you're going to Google it. You're going to find that information. Now, um, how exactly are we going to create that uh, that effect? Let's get some text super quickly. So University of Michigan, I'm going to go to All. And let's say uh, we're looking for some pretty compelling information. But let's say, at the very least, you want something that looks a little bit like this. You're going to press Command-C to highlight it, Command-V to, to paste. And actually, um, in the past, when you've clicked once and pressed Command-V, um, what happens is it goes sort of in a straight line. In today's class, if you click and drag uh, using the type tool, what we can do is we can identify the space uh, that we wanted to um, sort of fill in. And so now when we press Command V, it occupies that space. I'm going to press Command A, and I'm going to drop down the opacity. I'm going to change the um, change it from italic to regular and we're going to do something. Let's try this. Great. All right. So if we look at this right now, right, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see. We're going to need some greater contrast. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. Um, underneath this text, I'm going to select the rectangular marquee. And I'm going to have black as the foreground color. I'm going to shift this text over a little bit. And actually, if I click on here and if I click this text, what I can do is I can drag it like so. All right, that looks great. There we go. I'm going to press Enter. So the formatting looks good. I'm going to make sure that on that new layer underneath the text, I've got the uh, rectangular marquee tool selected. And we're going to use the paint bucket. We're going to click once. Command D to deselect. Uh, now, that doesn't look great. That's kind of jarring. So what we'll do instead is we're going to drop the opacity in the Layers palette. 
by clicking and dragging down. So let's let's drag it to about 67%. That looks pretty cool right there. Next, what we're going to do is we've got to write the name of the school and include the logo. So if we're going to do um, something like this. All right, so let's say that this is the logo. I'm going to, and you know, this is actually a PNG image, but if I right clicked and copied image, command V to paste, if I use the magic wand tool, and we've got contiguous unchecked, if I click on the black and press delete, command D, command T, all that black is gone and we can now reduce the size. Here we've got the University of Michigan logo. You're going to put it where you think it looks great. And next what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put the name of the school in the sky. So let's let's look for a, a wide font. Cooper's a pretty heavy font, but let's say hypothetically we want Command-T because we want the name of this uh, featured very prominently. And that looks great right there. And let's actually try this. Maybe I'll shift this down a little bit. Command T. And we need to add just a tiny bit more contrast. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on layer, layer style, and let's add sh uh, stroke, which is sort of towards the top. And I'm going to actually select this blue in the University of Michigan logo. So what I can do is click on the blue automatically and it pulls up. I'm going to increase the size of the stroke to six pixels. And that looks like a great start right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait to see your work. I'm looking for some very compelling marketing.